couple little bits. Yeah, couple little pieces there. Right there. Welcome to the rock. Yeah. So, nice piece. Another bit there. Bunch of little. Yeah, good day, good day, good day. Out on the river today. And it's not that cold. Not as cold as last time. It's supposed to have been raining, but I don't think it's going to rain. But they uh, predicted rain today, so uh, yeah, we might get a shower or something like that. Anyway, I'm uh, back out here. I went to my spot that I was going to hit, had it all planned, and there's multiple campers there, so change of plans. But anyway, um, I brought a new addition today. I've got an XP potato pan, and I'm going to give that a bash. So... Uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. So hopefully I've got some uh, some good gravel and gold to, to try it out with. Okay, now, funny thing um, Kirk said to me, he said, you know who you remind me of? You remind me of Sean Connery in that uh, Escape from Alcatraz. He said, you remember that movie? I said, yeah, yeah, but the best, best Bond movie was uh, Goldfinger, where he says... Uh, I suppose you expect me to talk, Goldfinger. Goldfinger goes, Oh, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. What about Operation Grand Slam? <laughs> ah, just something you may have heard. Just words. Can you afford to take that chance, Goldfinger? Best, best Bond movie ever made, Goldfinger. <laughs> so that's what I told him. That's that's the best Bond movie I reckon they ever made. Okay, well enough uh, jibber jabber. Gonna get into it and see how we go. Okay, get back to you. Yeah, you got one little fly poop, <laughs> but that's because of the spot I'm working in. But uh, yeah, alright, take a bit of getting used to. I'll keep going though. Got a couple little pieces. <coughs> Hope you can see this. Bits. Yeah, little pieces there. One there and one there. And I think there's a tiny little fly poop in the dimple. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh Good fun. But that was good. Yeah. I'll keep going. I suppose you expect me to talk, Goldfinger. No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> no. A bit of a spot over here. Give me a shot, but don't hold a lot of hope for it. Uh, you never know until you try.
Yeah. A couple of campers in my spot. They had it all planned, see? Mm, one speck. One speck. Yeah. One little speck. There's one little speck right there. Five poops. Okay. I'll keep going. Place to have a plan B, doesn't it? If you think of all this stuff before you even get out here, where I'm going, what I need to go with, and as soon as you turn up, there's nobody anywhere else but the spot that you're going to, you've got two lots of campers. <laughs> Unbelievable. And it's not really a spot where it's a good camping spot. But, uh, you just can't win. Never mind. And press on. One speck, one little speck. <sighs> one little speck, right there, right in the middle. <laughs> That's it. Right, now. I got an issue with the potato pan, as much as I like it. <coughs> it means I've got to use two hands to go in a circular motion. Whereas when I pan, I can pan with the Garrett Super Sluice or any other pan with one hand. And therefore it allows my left hand to sit on my left knee and support my back because I've got a really bad back. And I get a, a shock and backache if I'm bent over for too long. I need to straighten up and, and I've had it for over 20 years. And had some really bad times with it. At the moment my back's good. But I could just put it out like that, you know. And that's what happens sometimes. You just twist the wrong way and lift a heavy sheet or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, only sort of issue I got with the batea, is that I can't support my own back because I have to use both my hands to do the circular motion. But I like it. I like using it. But I can't use it for long before my back really aches. So I've got to switch back to the other pan. Okay, I'll keep going. Get back to you. Yeah, there's a couple of pieces there. One two and that one's not bad three yeah it's not too bad that one another one another one at the top so I'll keep going Oh, 
kabels. And then you get down to the bottom, on top of the bedrock. Whatever happens, and that doesn't always guarantee that you're going to win. <laughs> Savage. That's a hard one. Sean Connery, eh? Welcome to the rock. <laughs> what about Operation Grand Slam? Well, the camp is left from the, the spot I wanted, and it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. So as soon as I've seen them bail, I flew up here and I've just done two pans and this is this is where I was the last time I came out with the family. This is where we ended the day and I wish I could have stayed longer. But anyway, I've just done two pans, I'll just show you what's in this one. Yeah. So nice piece. Another bit there, bunch of little stuff, a couple over here. So that's, that's my second pan. Yeah, nice. Can you afford to take that chance, Goldfinger? Yeah, see, that's, that's the plan I had, and it just got ruined. Yeah, and out of all the spots that people camp, they always camp at the most popular. And this is not a popular spot because it's got very little room and it's right near the road. But, um, and that's why I wanted it. And when I seen him here this morning, I went, oh, I'm a, yeah. So, yeah, you sort of got to have a plan B, but um, I really didn't have a plan B. So, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. You know, river's free, free for everybody to use, so you can't do anything about it. But it's just annoying when you have all these plans going around in your head all week. I'm going to hit this again next week, and then bang, there's someone there, so just ruins it for you. So consequently, I've had a whole day of work and getting practically nothing, and, uh, and come here and get two pans, and that's the second one. First one had a speck in it, and then that one, I'm sort of back getting down to where I was when I left last time with the fam here. Oh, well, I'll just keep going, and uh, that's all I can do. I'll try and hang in a little bit later if I can. Okay, we'll get back there. Yeah, got down getting some nice grey clay, and every time I got the nice grey clay, getting multiple specks of gold and, and some bigger pieces. It's so dark today. It is so overcast, but um, hasn't rained yet, so that's good. But it's really dark, as you can see. I'm very dark, in the dark. Okay, I'll keep going. I haven't got a lot of time here, unfortunately. We'll see how, how we go. Okay. I'm getting some grey clay there. You see the colour of the water is nice and grey. Down pretty deep too. And probably a good three feet. Easy. Hard work. <laughs> Hard yagger. Yeah, I'm not even classifying the stuff. I'm just, uh, I could be losing a bit of gold, but I well, haven't got time. I'm running out of time, so I'm just trying to process as much as I can. And it's just started to rain. And this camera's not waterproof, so I might have to uh, put it away and use the other one. Okay, I'll keep going. Limited time. The water's not too bad actually. Not bad at all. In the wetsuit. Doesn't bother me. But I think it would have been a lot colder. 
if uh, there hadn't been the threat of rain. Well, this has got potential, this spot. It just goes down and down and down. There's tons and tons of cobble here to keep moving, so I haven't even hit the bottom yet. I haven't been getting gold. Yeah, but the cobble stops you from getting your shovel in. So you just got to get in and get rid of it. Dig it out. If there's anything that won't move, crowbar. Right. At the moment, that'll do me, and I'm running out of time as well. See them there, little jabbers, <laughs> little fly poops. A few of them there, but I pumped that and it should have got better than that, but anyway. This is about time to pull the pin. I've got to head out of here, it'll take me 40 minutes, although they have fixed the road up a bit. Better than it was before, that's for sure, it can go a little bit faster. Okay, I'll get back to you maybe at the sign off. Okay, that's it for me. And I'll have to do a little snuffer dump there and uh, just show you what I got. Not a lot, I'd say, because this was the best spot, uh, hands down. <laughs> but I only had it like for about an hour and a bit, which is a bummer. But anyway, you get that. So I'll just dump her out and show you what I got, okay? There it is, that's all, not a lot, and uh, the first lot of stuff I got was really small, the stuff from up here was a bit bigger, so that's it, not worth buying, but uh, yeah, anyway, better than going home with nothing, <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it for me for another day. And a uh, bit of a bummer that I lost my spot and uh, regained it in, late in the afternoon, but you get that. Yeah, you can't do nothing about it. Other people have a right to the river as well and camp. I don't know if they're prospecting or whether they're just camping. But anyway, I got a bit of gold and that's the main thing, and I enjoyed the day. So you can't complain about that. Um, while I'm at it, I'd just like to give a shout out to a channel of a guy in Colombia. Uh, his name is, uh, or the channel is, Buscando Oro Artisanalmente. He is a traditional artisanal miner, and uh, he always gives us a shout out. And uh, so um, I'm subscribed to his channel. And you can't, he's in Colombia, if you can't understand him, just go into the settings and you can change um, it, uh, the um, subtitles, you can change it to English, then you can understand what he says. But anyway, that's a bit of a laugh too. If you ever want a good laugh, just turn on your subtitles of any channel, don't matter what it is, and just read them as it goes along. <laughs> You'll get a laugh out of the interpretation sometimes. It's just a, it's a, it's a scream. But anyway, yeah, that, that's him. Just check him out. He's a hard-working man. And I told him so. Um, yeah, Boscando Oro Artisanalmente. I think that's how they pronounce it. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Okay, so if you liked, uh, please just give it a, a thumbs up. Oh, you can give it a thumbs down, I don't care. Either way, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so uh, glad you could come along for the ride anyway. So hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.